following video contains excerpts from our Day 1 Part 5 UC on C Series Firmware Host Upgrade Utility Playbook. For a complete configuration guide, subscribers can download the playbook from our website. Welcome to our drawing, Day 1 C Series Server Deployment for Cisco Collaboration Firmware Upgrade Host Upgrade Utility, or HUU. Upgrading firmware is an optional task. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But there's also a good argument for upgrading to recent software for a brand new deployment before you go live or do any development. Enterprise 20 upgrades the firmware before deployment and then as infrequently as possible afterwards. In this drawing, we'll describe the tasks required to upgrade C-Series firmware. Here are the day one tasks for Cisco Collab on C-Series. On day one, we deploy the C-Series server itself. On day one, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Only a subset of the tasks are required for BE deployment. We'll run through everything for UC on C-Series. Enterprise 20 upgrades the firmware immediately after the diagnostics return a successful result. The following tasks are part of upgrading the firmware using the host upgrade utility. Access the SIMC GUI, boot system using HUU image, upgrade system, and evaluate results. Make sure you have the correct HUU image before starting the upgrade process. Upgrading the firmware requires a maintenance window. Your ESXi host will be unavailable during this process. Click on Launch KVM Console or the icon in the toolbar to launch a KVM session. You upgrade the server by booting the system with a host upgrade utility image you download from cisco.com. You use the SIMC KVM virtual media to boot the system using the downloaded ISO. Our BE6000 shipped with HUU version 1.51. We downloaded 1.54 and we'll use that moving forward. We don't believe the version of firmware you are running matters much for UC on C series, or BEs in particular. Check the box in the Mapped column beside the image you just selected. The Cisco UCS host upgrade utility should boot. Explore the host upgrade utility if you'd like. The only thing we'll do is click Update All. You may see some server faults immediately after the upgrade. Patience. When the system boots, the new BIOS version will be displayed, 1.5.4. The system should boot if you have a BE with RAID configured and ESXi installed. We've had servers not boot following firmware upgrades. Leave time in your maintenance window for troubleshooting and or reverting back to the prior firmware version. The server faults have resolved themselves. See? Patience is a virtue. You can SSH to the server to open a command line interface. Invoke the command scope chassis and show firmware to validate that the update has completed. The C-Series server firmware is upgraded to the desired version. If you have a BE, you can move on to ESXi host configuration. If you have a standard C-Series with DOS, then it's time to configure RAID. We listed server monitoring as optional. This really should be done as soon as possible, but the server can be deployed first and this step done later. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment, RAID Configuration. Thanks for watching!